Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us understand the technique of Navbase for data mining in SSAS. Now for the purpose of this video tutorial, let us go to SSDT, let us create a new project. Now we will store this project in data mining 3 and let us provide the same name to the project that is data mining 3. Okay. okay so and we will select the first template that is analysis services multi-dimensional and data mining project so let's click ok so blank project has been created let's add the data source so it's connecting to ssas data mining so that's what we want so let's click next let's use service account finish let's add data source view next now let us select target mail we target email view next let's call it as dsv as it is a data source view mm, finish let's go to mining structures and add a new mining structure we'll use existing table okay so let's go to new base method next so we'll be using vtarget mail data next this will be acting as a case data that is it will provide the data input now over here it has auto selected customer key as the key which is the correct one and we want to predict bike buying behavior so that's why let's tick over here okay now the input to this bike bank behavior will be we want to provide discrete inputs that is we want to provide input of columns which are of discrete type okay uh, because new base biased algorithm works well with the discrete data input types okay so let's go to let's select only the discrete column columns in when we are working with this algorithm right now so let's go to commute distance commute distance actually is a discrete value in our database let's go and see it so we can see this the commute distance is having discrete values right also region is also discrete okay right so let's select commute distance then Miller occupation and education will be discrete values then gender is a discrete value house owner flag is a discrete value marital status is a discrete value in the name number of cars owned number of children at home these are all discrete values region is a discrete value total children is a discrete value okay so these are the values that we have selected now we know that these values are discrete so let's make them discrete okay okay so let's click next let the percentage of testing data remain 30 next let's call this as mining structure let's call this as now base finish okay so now let's copy the name of our analysis services database let's go and provide the name over here that is for the deployment apply ok and let's process our cube now in our database we can see right now there is no database with the name SSS data mining 3 whereas if this is deployed then it will create the database with the name SSS data mining 3 ok so let's go to process
okay so if we go to database now then the third database has been created with our ds dsv right we didn't we have not created any cubo dimension right for the data mining structure also we can see that new base data mining structure has been created so now let's go back to our ssdt now in the data mining models it has started showing the nav based data mining model that we have just created so if you go to model viewer then we can get the graphical view okay so this graphical view suggests us that the number of cars owned is having maximum influence on the buying, bike buying behavior when all these discrete uh, columns or attributes are taken into consideration okay so number of cars owned it has the maximum influence on bike buying behavior followed by total number of children then commute distance english education number of children at home region and marital status so marital status has the least influence on the bike buying behavior if you are considering these discrete attributes okay also we can go over here and this one indicates the data for the bike buyers and zero indicates data for the people who have not bought the bike okay and this is for total population so we are interested in the co column for one that is for the bike buyers okay so if you see then if commute distance is between zero to one miles then there is high very high probability of buying a bike okay similarly if a person is having education of bachelor's or partial college then the bike buying behavior or the probability of buying a bike is high marital status doesn't have much influence on the bike buying behavior okay uh, number of cars only if it is between 0 1 or 2 then the probability of buying a bike is high also if number of children are zero the bike buying probability is high so similarly we can go through all the individual factors okay now if you go to attribute characteristics then we are interested in one value that is for the bike buyers right then we can see that if the number of children are zero then the bike buying probability is very high also the marital status uh, m and s that is married and single is not having much influence because both the factors are appearing together right but if region is north america then the probability of buying a bike is high also if the commute distance is between zero to one miles then the probability of buying a bike is high okay and if we go over here then we are interested in comparing the different attributes between two values zero and one that is one is for the people who have bought the bike and zero is for people who have not bought the bike okay so if the number of cars owned are zero then it favors the bike buying behavior a lot okay whereas if number of cars owned are two then the probability of buying a bike decreases a lot okay so there is almost very less probability of buying a bike right if education english education is partial high school then the person is not having that much probability of buying a bike if the region code is specific then the person is having very high probability of buying a bike also if number of children are one then the probability of buying a bike is high okay if commute distance is more than 10 miles then definitely the probability of buying a bike is very low okay so in this way we can individually study the impact of all the factors on our bike buying behavior of which is shown by the value of one or zero okay so using this distribution we can also understand the impact of individual factors on the overall predictable value okay so i hope friends this video tutorial is useful to you thank you